Hi, my name is Paul Shevchik. I'm an ice rescue instructor with the Advanced Rescue Techniques School of Canada. Today we're going to talk about ice screws and how they're placed in ice and their uses for technical ice rescue. You can use them for two different um, things. One, for a change of direction for uh, rope pulls when we're our land situation where we're pulling on rope is not exactly where we're going to be bringing in the patient. So we have to have a right angle change. We can use it to help direct the rope back to shore where we have a good safe zone. Two, we can use it as a mobile anchor point. So when we're on the ice in a long distance rescue, let's say we have 2,000 feet of ice to go out, and then finally we have our last 300 feet, it's bad ice, we can put a secure anchor zone and uh, secure our ropes to the to the ice. We'll take a look at how they're placed in the ice. First of all, you want to make sure that you clear the ice away. The more blue the ice, the better, the more secure it's going to be. If it's white like this, it could have a high degree of oxygen and it's going to fracture a bit easier. Make sure that uh, your ice screws are uh, reasonably sharp and good to put in. You're going to inspect the tips. When you start putting it in, you don't want to hammer these. These are screw-in ice screws. So when you start them, you're going to put them in at the base, hold the base, and start to turn it by hand. Hold the base so it doesn't wobble. You'll feel the ice screw start to grip. Now this is catching. And as it goes, you can use the top lever like a brace in a bit. And you want to bring it down as far as you can into the ice. Because right now, if you clip into this, there's a possibility that it's going to come out. Or if it's super cold, you could actually fracture the screw pulling here because it's going to put a vector angle on it. So we're going to turn it right down into the ice. You'll see the ice is coming up through the top of the screw, is clean, self cleaning itself as we put it into the ice. I put the hanger where the carabiner is going down flush to the ice and attach your carabiner. Now you can attach a pulley or a rope through running through the carabiner for your change of direction.